Hey guys and welcome back to CLRP. Uh, today we are moving houses, so um, as you've probably seen in the older couple of videos, um, Katie, which is a young girl that Shannon's, Shannon's now doing foster care with, she tried to commit suicide, um, and then Shannon decided to take her in sort of thing. Um, Shannon's had her house on the market for a little bit, hasn't been in a rush to sell it, so there hasn't been any signs put up or anything. But, um, you know, it is for sale, but so in the meantime, I Shannon has bought a new house, um, oh, which is obviously Michael's house, as we saw in the previous video, out of story mode. Um, main reason for that is I needed a couple of bedrooms to be able to role play with, and someone just took out a fire hydrant, so good for them. Um, yeah, just needed a bit more room in the house and a bit more interior um, is the main reason, I guess, and it just kind of makes sense. So... We're just finishing work. I was just down at the motor pool. And we are just going to head up to the car. And I'm just going to take my unmarked car that I had. We'll just use that. Because why not? If I can get it to unlock, that'd be fantastic. Perfect. Start that up. So we're going to head up to the house, Katie should be home, actually I need to ring Sarah really quickly. Um, da -da 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 Styles, call, we'll just say hello really quickly. Hello? Hey, um, are you finished work? Uh, yeah, just about to be done in like three minutes. All right, I'm just knocking off for an hour or two. I'm gonna head up the house, and I've got a removal van or truck or something I ordered to come, and I'm gonna start moving down to the other house. Perfect. I'll be there in like five minutes. All right, I'm about I'm about ten out maybe. So yeah, I'm just leaving the Vinewood station. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, I'll see you when you get home then. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Alright, so we're gonna yeet up to the house and, you know, start moving, I guess. Also, remember, guys, if you're, you know, interested in, you know, dispatching or being a civilian or an LEO, um, you're more than welcome to apply for the community. I'll leave the description or the link in the description, as always. Um, remember, LEO and Dispatch is 18+, plus, but if you're a Civ, you can be 16+, plus, so I look forward to, you know, seeing anybody who wants to join, you know, apply, and hopefully see you in the server. I will also start linking my Instagram and stuff a bit more, if people want to see what I do in real life. Not that I post very often, but, you know, if you want to, join that. Alright guys, we're just pulling up at the house now, the old house, which is a little sad, I've had this house for quite a while actually. I don't think anyone's here just yet. Um, I'm just trying to think of the best spot to kind of park, because I've got a van or a truck coming, oh my god, have I got my lights on or something? You're just driving like an idiot, okay. The truck might be better parking there to be honest, I might park, I might just park in the garage. Shouldn't be any cars in here, I don't think. Nope. Alright, we'll park in here. Turn that off. Oh, looks like the removal list is here. Me unlocks the door. If I can spell. Hi, sir. Are you the removalist? Hey, I'm here to move somebody out of this address. Yeah, yeah, that's us. Thanks. Um, this is this enough room for you just here? Yeah, I should be able to fit it in there. All right, perfect. Thanks, sir. You're kind of just blocking the road, but, you know, it's all good. We'll let him sort out his life. Right, where's Katie? She's out here. 
So we're going to make sure that she's packing. Gonna miss the view. We do not have this view at the other house. Hey, Katie. Hmm? You okay? Mm -hmm. Have you started packing? That's all pretty much done. It's all pretty much done. Well, you're about 10, 10 steps in front of me. Well, kind of had nothing to do all day. What was that? So I kind of had nothing else to do all day, so. Mm hmm. Alright. There's a removal truck out there. If you want to start taking some of your stuff out, you can put it in there, okay? Yep. Alright. Good job. Gonna miss this house. It just doesn't work anymore because it's just. If this were, if this house had a lot more interior in terms of the downstairs, like the bedrooms and all that, it'd be perfect. Because it's got the space up here, but you know, end of an era, start of a new chapter, and all that, which is you know exciting, I guess. Oh my god! I thought he would have just came in. Ah, uh, come in, sir. Um, there's some boxes all along these stairs and stuff that can go in the truck if you don't mind. Alright, I'll start there. The furniture's staying. Um, you know, the other house already has furniture. It's a bit hard to roleplay that, so we'll just leave that stuff here. And I'm gonna miss this bath. Oof, look at it. Uh, finish this packing clothes. Uh, I've got all my shoes, I believe. Looks like we already pretty much moved out, to be honest. I don't think we really have anything here just sitting around the alarm clock. I think we've, I've already got another one of them, so that can stay. I don't care. Bookshelf's empty. That's empty. Yeah, so guys, this probably isn't going to be the most exciting video. It's more just to keep you guys updated with what's going on in the server with the storyline and all like and all that kind of thing. So, this video isn't going to suit everyone, but it's life RP. It's one of the things that I'd rather roleplay. So, it's kind of what is. I guess we're going to roleplay, and you know, if you want to watch it, you're watching. If you don't, you don't. I guess. Control doors, trunk. Just need to lock the lockbox because I don't want nobody going in there. Help me make sure lock box is locked. Hey. Hey, you okay? Busy day? Uh, yeah, just a busy day. Lots of research. How's it going here? Uh, just give me one second. I'm just going to throw these this colour boxes of clothes in the back. Here, here we go. Oh, that's better. Oh my god. I, I don't know, Sarah. It's like the, the trunk just hit me on the head. Oh, I think it did. Oh. Is it like one of those, like, automatic opening ones? Yeah, it's one of those new cars where you can, like, wave your foot under that bloody bumper or something and it lifts uh, up and down. I must have yeah. put my foot too close or something. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got those push button starts like the Audis and all that too. Mm, okay. Yeah, I would have brought my car so I didn't have to lock everything in lock boxes and all that that shouldn't be accessed to the public, but it was a long way to go back to the other station. Yeah. 
Is Katie here? Yeah, she's just packing. She said she's actually already packed pretty much, to be honest. Oh. Oh, she's, get a few she's right clothes. there. Oh, there she is. Hi, Katie. Hi. Alright, anything valuable that you want to you... keep that's, you know where it is, put it in my car that's in the garage, okay? Mm, I don't really have that much, really. Oh, well, that's all good. Because you have my phone for me, so. What was Did that? Did you pack the wine? I said, yeah, because you stole my phone. Now. Oh, yeah, so... no, I know, I've got your phone. You'll get that back eventually. Uh, no, I haven't packed the wine. Oh, my God. Actually, maybe oh, someone else. That should did. have been I... the first. Oh my god! Hang on. Please tell me when we looked at the new house, it had a wine area, please. Uh, I don't. I've remember. forgotten. Oh, someone's already packed the wine. Thank God. Perfect. What about your clothes? Are they all good? I just packed them and threw them in the. Car. Um, have you got everything of yours? Okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much. All I had were clothes here, but they probably got packed with yours. So oh, okay. yeah, if you had clothes in my closet, I've just shoved everything in a couple of boxes and I just took it. Yeah, that's okay. Alright. Um, well, sir, I think that's everything. All the main, like, pretty much all the furniture is staying here. Everything looks like it's out of the shelves. Um, I mean, I still own the house, so I can come back if we forget something small. Alright, and we're still going True. to the address you gave us earlier? Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely there. Um, it's got a slide gate um, that's key card and voice activated, so one of us will try and get there before you, and we'll have it open for you. Yeah. Alright, I'll just wait outside if I beat you there, but... Yep. Alright, thanks sir, you're a legend. Um, Kimmy's still got her room, yeah, that's, yep, yeah, everything's still there that she needs. Oh, I forgot she was sitting here. She has a key, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, where's Katie? Katie, Katie, okay. Katie. Uh, are you going with Sarah or are you coming with me? Doesn't matter. Well, pick a car, because we're leaving. You've definitely got everything? I got it. Alright, let's go. Choose a car, because we're leaving. Yes, time to go with you. Uh, turn on. All right, so we're going down to the new house now. You got your seatbelt on. We go into the new house, guys, and you know, you guys will see it when we get there. If we get there. Yeah, so I brought this house a couple of days ago, two or three days ago. We've already got the key and all that. Uh, we got the key yesterday, so I showed, me and Sarah, I should say, showed Katie yesterday, and yeah. Oh, we might as well do it in first person. See how close we can get to the the desk here. Is that good? Oh, we can go forward a little bit more. All right, that is us here. Gonna turn that off. We're gonna open the trunk. Car is off. All right, where's the majority of your stuff? Is it in the truck, Katie? Yeah. Alright. Alright, grab your stuff, take it up to your room, and you'll be set. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so this is the new house. Um, if you didn't see the last video that was up, then you know it showed us actually showing Katie the house. I don't know what's up with the bed gone. I don't know if that's a visual pack thing or if it just isn't there in 5M because I never really come here. It is what it is. Uh, me sets boxes here. We'll just sit them right here. Uh, I'm not sure if Katie and Sarah decided what room they were getting. That was the debate of last video, was literally who was getting what room, because neither of them care. Did you guys end up figuring out which room you're having? Um, I'll take the pink one. You'll take the pink one? Yeah. Did you tell, did you tell Katie? Not yet, but she doesn't look like the pink kind. Okay, well, you might want to let her know. Like what? Oh, just letting you know, Kay, I decided to take the pink room. That's fine. Okay, I'm just letting you know. That's fine. <laughs> oh god. I thought Katie would have taken yeah, it, I to be honest. That. So which one is it now? One of... It is more Sarah's style, though. She likes, she likes really girly things. Uh, is there just a few boxes left, sir? Yeah, I'm grabbing the last couple boxes right now. Oh, okay. I'm Shannon, by the way. I did ring you up, but I just, I've forgotten your name and all that. Yeah, uh, Josh Grober. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Josh. I, I really appreciate, you know, you coming down here and helping us move some boxes. Yeah, that's what we're here for. It's what we're here for, he says. What does that say? Four wheel rotation system. Oh. oh, he's already grabbed the last boxes, so I don't even have to help him. Perfect. Um, I I paid online. Um, I don't know if your boss told you that. Um, so that's all been done. Yeah, that's how they always. Oh, yeah, ah, okay, perfect. That way. Yeah. Just get the address, show up, load and unload the truck. Alright, well, I really appreciate it, Josh. Um, you know, thanks for helping us move. Yep. I think that's everything, so... Yep, looks like, like it. Getting everything unpacked. Thank you. Oh, um... I don't know, is, does the... I, I'm new to this gate. Does it just open for people if they're leaving, or does it... Do we need to open it? We might have to open it. I'll just open the gate uh... for you. I think it has to be us. Alright. There's no, like, button over here or anything. It's literally there on the gate. You meant to stick your hand through there and just tab it? Thanks, sir. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Good old Brandon, yep. <laughs> oh, yep. It's a beautiful house, though. You got everything. So, uh. What's up? Did I mention I went to the expensive part of town today? Oh, yeah. Did you? I found this wine. I believe they call it a Chardonnay 91. It was $1,500. Oh, Jesus. Mm hmm. The shit better taste like gold. I mean, I mean, we, you can afford it, but like, jeez. I know. Even then, it's still expensive. Yeah, I know, but $1,500, that better taste good. It better. It we, came with. We can't them. drink that. You can't drink that like we drink normal stuff though. Like and just get rid of a whole bottle in a night. No. Nice. Like Jesus, we've got to make that last. Well, you. That's do. for like. <sighs> wow, you're not wrong. Well, I didn't buy it. You did. Yeah. Well, special occasion. We moved into a new house. Okay. Did we can drink the first bottle? You know, it looks like someone already unpacked a bottle and a glass. Oh God. Ooh, was it me? 
This time. Geez, someone unpacked quickly. There's a lot of stuff already out. Jeez, it must be Katie. Maybe we have ghosts. It, it could be some of the appliances and stuff from previous owners. Yeah, that's that's, true. that's missing as well. I just don't know what causes that, to be honest. Oh, what? painting. Which painting? That one right over. Ooh. Ugh, yeah, like, that's that needs to go. Yuck. Picture of Count Dracula and his like, mother. Look at the way he looks at, like, oh. Ugh. Oh my god. Well, no. It looked like he had two. He's got, like, two chins. <laughs> look at this. She looks pretty self centered for. If this is the homeowner, like, oh my god. I mean, are these portraits of the people who lived here previously, or are they just pictures of anybody? Because she, she's, like, looking out the side of her eyes. She looks a little alienated, to be honest. Is it creepy to have pictures of someone else here herself? I don't know. Well, these pictures here are nice. So there's a picture of a dog. That's a nice yeah. picture. That's a nice picture. Is there any other pictures? These are normal paintings. Yeah, like, why... Uh... Why I think I saw one in your room. Why didn't they take pictures of their family with them if that's who they are? Right? Oh, I just gotta go and shut the trunk of my car really quick. We'll just lock that as well. Oh uh, yeah, we'll look you up. I think this place is haunted? No, I don't think it is. I think it's a beautiful house. It's got some great architecture. It's true, but... Yeah, see, so many homeowners. See, pictures. there's like, pictures here too. Like, don't they take this stuff uh, with them? Oh, uh, you know what it is? I think it is. What? When the realtors show the house, they put in like, pictures of families to, you know, make it more appealing. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, that's, that's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there's another picture of her there on the wall. God help me. Okay, that's just creepy. Oh, I've got a- I love how I have a desk though now in my bedroom as well. That's great. Oh, yeah. by the way, hey, hey. I, um, I took, um, Katie's phone off her yesterday as well. I need to have a quick look on there. Okay. Oh, wow, we sniffing. Well, she said someone was trying to kill her and she had a picture and stuff, so I took her phone. I needed it for evidence. Okay, it's not snooping. Wait, someone's trying to kill her? Apparently. Oh my god. Come over here, we've got to keep our voice down. I... I... You know, her life's already in danger just being here with you and I, and let alone someone else. Well, I mean, her life well, could be what? in danger, I mean, from us. I mean, I don't know if it actually is anymore, I don't know. Because Tamali's dead, and I don't know if he was the only one or not, but there's evidence that says there's another person. Well, you know, if they tried to kill us and we're still here, we're survivors. I'm- I'm a survivor. Are you a survivor? I've been shot, bitch! <laughs> I was held at gunpoint at a hospital once. Oh god, true story. You- you and that doctor guy from that other state you're in. He's pretty good looking. Yeah. Oh, he is. Wonder where he's at. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just seeing some- Hey, how do you know him? No, who? Are you stalking me? That was her doctor. Uh, maybe on Facebook. Okay, I, I saw a hot guy on your Facebook. Okay, wow. Geez. Well, I'm sorry, okay? Oh God damn it. I'm I'm not seeing a whole you lot on here. You should hit that. I'm not seeing a whole lot on here. Hmm. See anything? Can I check, like, the calculator? Sometimes it's, like, a fake, like, app. Oh, sorry. What were you, what were you saying? Try like the calculator. Sometimes it's like a fake app and it goes into like personal stuff. How Maybe the hell do you there? know about a fake app like that? Jesus. Don't. 
I've seen that. I got some old photos here from like maybe middle school or something with various families. Uh, looks like a picture of that jewel mm. of Juliana. I met her one time. Ah, uh, there's that Tom Mid guy, that poor kid. He, I don't know. I don't trust that kid a little bit. Juliana, Tom Mid. Fo These don't sound like good kids. Photo of gang member with Tom Mid from before. Text with Juliana and you. Phone calls from Juliana and you. Phone calls from Juliana and her, I should say. Also, the memo that has a notification by the app itself has a password lock from a security master. Okay, there's like this... This is like this memo app here, and it's got like a password on it. Like, how do I get into that? Um... Actually, come to think of it, I remember her going on an app like that. Let's just go and ask her. Don't you have contacts that can do that stuff for you, just in case? Yeah, why do that when you can just go to the source? The source isn't always as foretelling. Then I go to them people, you know? Yeah. Katie? Hmm. Yeah, you like in your new room? Uh, yeah. It's very dark in here. It is. Um, foggy. You want your phone back? Am I allowed to have it back? What was that? Did am I allowed to have it back? Well, I'm just curious, there's this thing called a memo app, and I'm just curious as to why, what it is and why it's got a password. Ew. You want to tell me what it's about, or is it about nothing? Kind of, you know. That's technically about what we talked about last night. Seed strip club, that's what we should have done. Oh, uh... hmm, That's pretty comfortable. Well, what? So it's kind of stuff about what we talked about yesterday, is it? What did you and I talk about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, which bit of, we talked about a lot yesterday, so you're going to have to just tell me which main bits. This is not the seat I want to do. You know, um, kind of about, you know, marks, where they came from, what fear I had. That stuff. About your fears and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what what's this picture with oh. with Tom Mid on it? That kid that you brought with you to my office the other week. That's the one I showed you and I apparently Lieutenant you said something to you about it. Mm. Who do you oh, know? Is yeah. is that the gangbanger in in the photo with him? That's the trouble one. Mhm. Mm okay. That looks junk as fuck. We're standing up. All right. Here's your phone. Thank you. Mhm. Mm no worries. Alright, have fun in here. You might have to do a bit of tidying up, it doesn't look like the last people did. Mm, yeah. What do you think? I don't know. It's a lot of bad story to that. Mm, she's had a rough go. I just feel sorry for her, you know? Yeah. 
Oh well, she'll be right. She can only get stronger. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going outside to get a bit of air. Okay.